what a gracious night. You are going to the month of grace. The Lord will make all grace abound unto you in this new month. This is Overcomer's Night. It's transition to the new month. We are going to the month nine. Nine is a three multiple of three. Three is God's completion, completeness. It symbolizes God's perfection as well. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. As you are going into the new month, which is the ninth month, it shall come to pass that heaven over you shall open up. Amen. Your cloud over you shall send the dew of heaven. Amen. Your ground over you will sprout forth fruits. Amen. Your seed that you have been sowing from January shall bring forth harvest. Amen. The difficulty of your life shall be made possible. Amen. The Lord will give his angels charge over you. They will trigger what you have been longing, waiting for. They will bring to manifestation your hope that all has almost become hopeless. They who were with Israel when they moved through the wilderness, when Jehovah went ahead of them, they shall be with you and bring you to the place God has prepared for you. May the Lord cause his light to shine upon your path. The Lord will assign a messenger at the door of your lips. Yeah. Your month of September will be a month to be reckoned with. Yeah. Your month of September will be a month you will never forget. Yeah. There are things that heaven has spoken concerning you, that the Father had put them together as a package for you in the new month. Yeah. They will be delivered to your hands by the hands of angels. Amen. It shall be the month of the angels upon the face of the earth. They will disperse the conjugation of demons around the region of Afghanistan. They will strike their hand to trouble waters and bring calmness. They will cause disruption to come upon those who sit in comfort. They will turn the Ammonites against the Moabites. You will see fierce fighting among them, for their coalition will break into pieces. A flame that is beyond control. Why is the thing they are? But the Lord will delude them with fully. The hand of one will be against his brother. And his brother shall not be able to rest for what he has stolen. The coalition of the devil that he has assigned against around the area of Afghanistan shall break into factions. Amen. They will not gather. They will not build. Amen. They shall be destroyed to the roots. Amen. The Lord's hands of mercy shall stretch over that nation. Amen. For the blood that has been shed for the cry of the innocents, they will fall by their own weapons. Yeah. When the peg of the tent is pulled down, it bends other pegs and breaks some others. As that peg is pulled down, some will go down with them. And the nakedness of man shall be exposed publicly. Amen. It will be very shameful. But it will be exposed. Amen. Let he that stands stand firm. In this season, the ears of God's saints will be open Amen. to hear the mystery that have been kept for this very season. Amen. I see the hand of the Lord and the foot of the Lord Jesus walking along the coastline of Africa. I saw the western region of Africa experiencing the visitation of the Lord. Amen. I see the flame of the Lord burning from the coast and moving in the nation to the north. I see the hunters becoming hunted. And I see the hunters running for their lives. 
For the one who haunts them is the mortal, the invisible, the only wise God. And with his mighty powerful hand, he will deliver his people. I see peace given when it is not expected. I see a reshovel, a restructure. I see overthrow. I see a breeze and the old was still blown away. A new horizon come. I see the hand of God in mercy and the foot of our Lord Jesus walking down the coastline of Africa. Moving down to the southern region of Africa. I see mandate fulfilled. I see destiny restored. I see the rising of a new sun that cannot be hindered from the east. I see a new leaf over Israel. <coughs> I see a new direction, a new turn for the country of Israel. I saw for a time that the hands of their enemy became strong. As if it is stronger than them. And I saw a bit of confusion within the region. But I saw the hand of the Lord stretch out in the midst of it. For their time has not come, says the Lord. And I see the hand of God quell, quell, quenching, bringing to an end. That which the enemy intends to do, because his time has not come. But it was not without confusion and a bit of a chaos and shaking that brought a bit of uncertainty because the one who would have been the reliance of Israel had entered into troubled waters. But the Lord will rise for his people and it will destroy the coalition of the enemy over there. I see Christ's faith of Anaku like a newborn baby. But dressed like a king. Can a baby rule? Yes, says the living God. I see the scepter in his hand, though he looks like a baby. I see a royal robe upon him. And yet, he jumps out of the hand of his mother stands on his feet and start to run. I see his robe flying behind him and I see trail of many running after him. For the word that the Lord has spoken shall be brought to pass. Amen. Concerning Christ's faith tabernacle, the diadem that God has given to them shall be adorned by nations. Amen. Though you look small in your own eyes, says the Lord. But he that lives forever and ever shall bring to pass that which he had promised. Amen. Manifestation that will humble humanity Amen. with the spirit of humility upon his sins. I see the hand of God lifting you up. Amen. You have seen some lifting up over the period, but what you are about to enter from September will blow your mind. Amen. Did I say to Jacob, seek me in vain, says the Lord? Will a people pray continuously without seeing God? Yes, you have entered the month of your grace. Amen. As God has said, grace will work for you. Amen. In the month of September, grace will be lavished over you. Amen. In the month of September, grace will guide you. Amen. In the month of September, grace will lift you up. Amen. Expect, be full of expectant, expectancy and be thankful. Be thankful with joy. Celebrate for your redemption has come. Yeah. That which God puts in your heart, do it. Do not hold back any longer. 
There may not be way for people there, but there is way for you because you went through the way. It may be a dead end for others, but because you passed through the way, there shall be a highway for you. See the angels of harvest with sickle in their hands, bringing the harvest for you. 